Hey guys, it's your one and only Waka Waka Doctor bringing you the best of travel all around the world. On my social media platforms, I share information with regards to moving abroad, helping you actualize your travel dreams. Um, it's always good to note that I'm not an immigration consultant, but every information I share on my platforms uh, as a result of my wide experience and um, having traveled to more than 60 countries and living plus working in five of them. Now, if this is the first time of seeing my YouTube channel or coming across my YouTube channel, it would be a very nice idea for you to subscribe and turn on your notification button so that you can always get alerts whenever I post new videos. I post videos every week, maybe once or twice a week. If you've always been here cheering me up and watching my videos consistently, I want to say thank you. I do this because there are loads of results, loads of people who watch my clips and move abroad. So I'm happy to always continue to do this. All right. This episode is another brand new one, something totally different, something totally fresh. And as you can see from the title, it's moving to France. Yes, you can move to France for free and get paid. Does that make sense? Move to France for free and get paid. Well, it's not a total 100% because some of these opportunities you might have to pay, but just a little amount of money, but you still get paid when you get to France. Surprised? Okay, just move along with me and make sure you do not leave any stone unturned. You can do this yourself and you will. Remember, like I always say in most of my videos, I always put the links of these schools or opportunities in the description box. So if you just click the description box, it will come down and you'll see several links. But you need to know how to apply by watching this video and I'll tell you a few things. Now, I know that some of us struggle when it comes to finance, some of us struggle when it comes to getting funds to travel abroad. And this is why I'm sharing this opportunity. Because even though you can apply for scholarships and tuition waivers, sometimes it is still daunting. So with this, you can go to France and not pay tuition. Or if you have a small amount of money, you can use that small amount of money to pay part of your tuition because your employer will pay the rest. So the benefits is that you will get your employer to pay you monthly. Your employer will pay you, say, between 900 to 1,500 euros every month, depending on where you go to or the institution you go to. So that's number one. Number two is that they will pay the cost of your moving. Okay, that's number two. Number three is that you have the opportunity to learn in English and you can learn in French. There are more than 670 programs where some of them are taught in English while others are taught in French. So you have to do your research and check out those programs that are in English if you're from an English speaking country. So you can also work while you do this. So remember that I said your employer will pay you, but aside from that, and you'll be studying, but aside from that, you can also do a second side job. Now, another pro is that work visas sometimes are difficult to get, very difficult to get, but this is like you're applying for a student visa, so it's easier. You get it? Good stuff. Now, France initially had said that this program will only be for those who are between 16 and 29 years of age. But don't worry, you know I always share good news now. If you're, uh, uh, if you're older than 29, yeah, you don't need to say like enough, you know, old. <laughs> you still qualify. So even if you're 30 and above, you can still do this. What are the requirements? Fantastic. Number one is your international passport. You need your international passport, of course. Number two is um, your high school grades. You need your high school grades. So you need to have at least three to five credits, depending on the school. You need three to five credits in your high school. So that's important, okay? Then you need a certificate of experience. So if you have skills, you're a barber, you're a plumber, you're a hairdresser, you're a stylist, 
you are a welder, you are a this, you are a that. You need a letter from your organization or someone who's taught you before. Maybe you've done apprenticeship in Ghana or apprenticeship in South Africa or apprenticeship in Nigeria. Just get a letter, like a letter of recommendation, but it's called certificate of experience to state that you have the experience, you've been taught how to do this and that would be it. Or if you've worked somewhere before, get a letter that states that you have that experience. The next thing is you, depending on the school, some of those institutions require IELTS, some don't. So if you have IELTS, you stand a better chance. If you don't, that's fine. There are still some opportunities that you can use. Now, some of these schools include, or some of these organizations include um, ESCE, for instance, ESCE, um, Grand Ecole, that's one. You have the Electricité de France, EDF, that's for electricians, but they have other courses as well. Electricité de France is another. Um, you have Paris Tech Rail, for instance. Even HSBC has a business management scheme. Um, HSBC is a bank, but they have a business management scheme that helps you to do this training program. Uh, you have the higher fee as well. Um, you have EDP. Um, there's a whole host of them. There's also um, a school of management in France that has these opportunities. Like I said in you know the introduction, I will put in the description box a lot of some of these links that you can always click on and apply to. All right. So remember that even if they are charging you for tuition, even if the school or the organization is charging you for tuition, you can still get an employer that will pay it. Okay. So because you're going to school and work, the person who's going to give you the work program is your employer. They will pay your tuition. Okay. So some of them might say, how do we find these schools? How do we know where to go? Aside from the link I'm, I'm going to post in the description box, <clears throat> you can also check campusfrance.org. Campusfrance.org has a lot of this information. It's called the Apprenticeship Program. Apprenticeship Program or the French Work Study Pathway. Okay, three names actually. Apprenticeship Program, Apprenticeship Pathway or the France work study program okay now some people might say okay i don't want to go to france i want to go somewhere else then that means that you must watch my second video which i have done maybe about four or five months ago it's about vocational studies in japan in lithuania in germany because these three countries also have their own programs and you can do well to watch any of those videos that suits you so to say germany has the largest number of vocational schools in the world. More than, I don't want to exaggerate, but they've got, they've got a lot. They've got the highest numbers of vocational schools. So if France doesn't work for you, Germany is also good. Japan has also got, Lithuania has, and even Finland they've got. And if you just type Waka Waka Doctor Vocational School or Waka Waka Doctor Vocational Study, the video will come out. You can watch that and follow suit and I hope this helps you move abroad. Like I said, it's always good to follow me on my Instagram page, on my Twitter channel and one of my videos on my YouTube. That's where you get the secrets to moving abroad. I hope that this video has helped you in some form, way, or I mean, it's helped you, you know, it's kind of helped you. So I wish you all the best as you try to move to France. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again in another video, in another episode. It's your one and only Waka Waka Doctor, signing out.